Welcome to Refreshing Point Ministries, where Dr. Rick Layton is pastor and teacher. We thank you for your continued support of this ministry. For products and church information, please visit us on our website at www.ricklaytonministries.org. Now, get ready to receive the word as we are changing your world through faith. Let's open our Bibles up, uh, first of all, to Deuteronomy chapter 30. Deuteronomy 30. The longer I'm in Christ, the longer that I walk with Christ, the more I realize that I need to take what's ministered to me seriously. The longer I walk with God, I begin to see, I have begun to see that where I am today, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, it's because of the decisions and the choices that I have made in life. Isn't it something that no one else can determine our life unless and we let them? No one else can decide how high one can or cannot go. No one in life can decide how much or how little financially one can have except the person. There's no one else in life that can decide how educated you become or how uneducated you are except for you. When you begin to realize that where you are today is because of the choices that you have made in the past, and the choices that you will make today, when you begin to realize that, then you can begin to guide your own life. Actually, our choices and our decisions in life is a guiding light. I was watching a picture last night It just come to me. I didn't know I was going to be ministering exactly along these lines, but I don't know what the name of the picture was. But in this picture, this guy was dreaming a dream. Uh, He thought it was a dream and he didn't know what reality was and he didn't know what fiction was or if he was in a dream. And their leader came to them and told them, this guy said, am I dreaming? He said, I want to go back. He had forgotten everything in his past and he wanted it restored. He said, I want to be the man I used to be. And this is what this, their leader told him, this guy told them. He said, your past is nothing but what you have come to know in life. He said, actually, You don't need that. He said, you can start today and do and be whoever you want to be and do whatever you want to do. He said, that's why we erase your past because your past can be an enemy to you. Is there anybody in here this morning you would like to have your past erased? Or some of it anyway? Well, I'm here this morning to tell you that Jesus Christ, once we gave our life to Jesus and once we gave our life to God, your past has been erased. There's nothing left but your future. And guess what? You are the prophet of your own life. You are the prophet of your future. What what are you saying, Pastor Layton? Whatever you decide to write today with your tongue, 
is what your life will be in the future. The summit says my tongue is as of the pen of a ready writer. I want to ask you this morning, what are you ready to write about your future? What are you ready to write and erase about your past and write about your future? This morning, you can decide. I don't care what age you are. I don't care where you are in life. You and only you can decide to do better. Only you can decide to have more. Only you can decide to accomplish more. There's no one that can be a better you than you. I heard that last night and it, was, it wasn't a religious picture. But I got something out of that. I, I decided today, I decided last night, excuse me, that I'm going to do all I can to be the best Rick Layton that I can be. I, I've decided, I've decided, I don't know about you, why, will you come go along with me? I've decided not to let anyone bring up my past and stop me from going into my anointed future. I, listen, I've decided that the money I have in the bank is not my last money. I've decided that I can determine where I want to live, the kind of car I want to drive, the kind of house I want to live in. I can decide that today. What makes someone else have more on you than you can have on yourself? It's the choices. It's the decisions that we have made. Every decision, listen at this. We're going to read Deuteronomy 30. Every decision that you make in life will lead you to somewhere. There's no such thing as a decision without consequences. There's no such thing as a decision or a, a, a choice that does not bring consequences or results behind them. Every decision you make will take you into a door or either close a door for you. I've made up my mind today that I'm going to make the decisions that are going to get me in the right doors. I've made a decision today that the person that backs me, his name is Jesus. Glory to God. I've made a decision that I'm taking the limits off myself. If you decide today you're going to take the limits off yourself, lift your hands. I want you today to write down what is it you want to do in life. What is it you want to accomplish in life? How high do you want to go and write it down? This is butt kicking message here. Glory to excuse me. I'm, no, this, I'm, I'm tired of people blaming things on other people. I'm tired of people talking about what they don't have, what they can't accomplish, who holding them back, who didn't like them, who ain't for them. If God be for you. I made up my mind watching that picture last night, Barbara. That I'm going to, I'm going to be the best preacher I can be. All this old mess preachers talk about ain't nobody coming to my church. I can't give, I can't buy no members. Well, that don't fit Rick Layton. That don't fit Refreshing Point Ministry. That don't, and all of that you talking about what you don't have and, and, and where you don't live and what you can't do, that don't fit you. I said that doesn't fit you. One of the things we've got to do in order to think positively and to think up and to think better is stop hanging out with buzzard thinkers. Amen. Stop hanging out with people that do not think like you think. Refreshing Point Ministries would like to thank you for viewing this message by Dr. Rick Layton. To order this message in its entirety, please call us at 877-227-8317 or visit us on our website at www.ricklaytonministries.org. Until next time, be blessed.